Matt Dixon, head coach of Purple Patch Fitness. Thanks for having us here in uh, the training camp that you're having down in uh, Scottsdale. Let's talk about the camp. What are you guys doing here? It's really our pro squad that's here. Who do you have here? Everyone, really. We have um, Sam Appleton, who was fourth at the World Championships last year in 70.3. Kevin Collington, who's an Ironman champion. Sarah Piampiano, multiple Ironman champion. Laura Siddle. Uh, multiple Ironman champion, Laurence Delisle, uh, Sonia Bracegirdle and Cecilia Davis-Hayes who's just finished her first year as a pro very successfully. And then we have a really interesting host of elite athletes. So we have um, nearly all of our professional athletes that we coach, but we also included a few of our elite amateurs. We do sort of 10 days of really immersive, sort of ground setting for the season. So there's a lot of, even though it's an individual sport, a lot of team building, a lot of sort of vision setting for the athletes, and, and really not just about the very hard work that we do do here, uh, but it's more importantly, really going through each athlete and setting our lens on what they have to go home and work on. Can you give me an idea of what a typical day is like when we walked in? You you kind of <laughs> snickered about, about what you had just put the gang through. So it's highly individual. Um, at the same time, we like to test the athletes and, uh, and challenge them a little bit. And so uh, yesterday they did a, uh, a swim. Uh, mo- most of the athletes did a swim that was... Uh, about six and a half thousand yards and uh, and it had some challenge in there it was a little thresholdy a little bit of speed then they did an easy ride in the middle of the day and last night we um, we really tested them with what we call a strength endurance run which is multiple loops of a progressively building to close to maximal effort high speed high power run My suffering was terrible. I had to sit in a car following them along for oh, you, five hours. You it was, I was right now. I was very brave. In yeah. fact, it's why I uh, treated myself beer? to a beer while we're talking. Yeah. yeah. Here, I like to see in action how athletes respond and self-manage. And so we might give them a theme of what's coming. And we, we might say, for example, I said, tomorrow is an easier day. We're going to do a swim and a prep day. And on Tuesday, we will be doing intervals. But I won't tell them exactly what those intervals are going to be. Are they going to be hill reps? Are they going to be speed? Are they going to be bike run? But I like athletes to self-manage both on the fly and just see how they react to situations because you start to learn personality, how they deal with adversity, uh, some of their resilience and some of the areas that we can actually help them more. And, uh, and so we, we keep them guessing over a camp environment. And so I think that a properly designed training camp Uh, And and there are two types of camps to start. There are training escapes where you go away and find warm weather and do a bunch of training. Or there's a training camp which is sort of coach supervised. Uh, And in that secondary example, which is in my lens, a training camp, the biggest thing that should come out of it is education. Because any single week of training or a few days of big training, that isn't going to define your season. But you should be going away to a a training camp and immersing yourself in the process and training in front of a supervised coach who's hopefully good quality that can give you advice that then you can go and apply to all of your weeks of training when you go home. Yes, it's okay to challenge yourself, but the real value 
is can you actually go home with two, three, four things that you're gonna go and implement to your daily training at home to help you become a better athlete over the coming weeks, months, and dare I say, even seasons. For them, I think it's a great coming together as a uh, as a squad. And while it's a really individual sport, they are all uniting uniting behind a methodology, behind a coach. So there is a common purpose and a common set of beliefs, a common set of values, of culture. And uh, and so when you bring like-minded people together, it's really energizing emotionally. So so when they're going to get on the plane, they're going to be physically exhausted but emotionally energized and, um, and hopefully excited for the journey ahead. Great as a, uh, as a group together.